This is the two inch fit right precision pipe fitting system. This is the fitting cradle. The fitting cradle can be used on a table with no other devices. The following fits can be made with the fitting cradle alone. The positioning plate on each end will allow the user to hang a two hold flange. Any fitting can go directly to the flange once positioned. The first fitting we'll show is the 90 degree elbow. Use your fingers and eyes to make certain that everything is properly aligned. The high-low can be adjusted right to left for balance and up and down by use of small shims and cards. When satisfied with the accuracy of the fit, use a spacing tool and tack. With the flange in the same position, add a T-rest. Place the T-rest either on the run or on the branch. Use your fingers and eyes to make certain the fit is precise. Use a spacing tool to set the gap and tack. The same thing can be done with a short radius elbow using a short radius elbow rest. The rest is comprised of two T-rests. Set the short radius elbow using fingers and eyes to make certain the fit is correct. Use a spacing tool to set the gap and tack. For a 45 degree elbow, position the elbow using the 45 degree elbow rest. Adjust the screws as required to get the perfect high-low. Use a spacing tool to set the gap and tack. Insert bolts into the flange. Occasionally, bolts need to be driven into place because of the type of fit. Hang the flange on one cradle, facing inward. Insert the pipe, positioning it near the flange. The flange will be perfectly aligned and squared with the pipe. The flange will be two-holed if there are fittings or OLEDs on the pipe. Works with slip-on and socket weld flanges only, with one cradle. Slip the flange onto the butt weld long radius 90 degree, sometimes required due to space limitations. Flange is two-holed and aligned. You can also do this with a 45 degree elbow or a T on the run or on the outlet. Next, we'll introduce the two and a half inch 20 speed rail. First on the table is the K leg. Next is the L leg, easily assembled and leveled. Once adjusted, we recommend the speed rail be tacked to the table. This ensures consistent tacks when doing the same fit over and over with no further adjustments. After setting two cradles on the longest straight of the speed rail, position a weld neck flange on one end. Any pipe orientation or configuration can follow. Ensure correct gap and high-low. Tack. All fits will be square, plumb, level, aligned, and exactly 90 or 45 degrees as required. Reposition flange to look away from cradle and utilize 90 degree angle on the speed rail.
ensure proper gap, and high-low. Tack. Use the same or similar procedure with the 90 degree long radius elbow and pipe attached. Use fingers and eyes for proper alignment. Occasionally, a playing card or cards can be used as a shim to fit to the nearest five or six thousandth of an inch. This is the FitRight Speed Rail 4x8 table model. With a two and a half inch fitting cradle set on the speed rail, hang a flange positioned on the inside of the cradle. Position a T-rest and a T. Use fingers and eyes, gap and tack. Finish tacks and carefully inspect the finished high-low, gap, orientation, and fit. Position the flange on the inside of the fitting cradle. Remove the T-rest. Position 90 degree long radius elbow. Ensure proper gap and high-low, gap and tack. Present for inspection and fit. Utilizing two fitting cradles, hang weld neck flanges neck to neck on outside of each cradle. Ensure proper fit and gap. Ground and tack. Remove for inspection. Remove flange lineup bolts. Set on table and confirm level. Place a fitting cradle on the 90 degree portion of the speed rail. Place a pipe with short radius elbow attached in the same cradle. Position weld neck flange on the outside of the cradle on the perpendicular leg.
Use fingers and eyes to ensure good fit, high low and gap. Ground and tack. Ensure level and square fit. Place two cradles on straight leg of speed rail. Add 90 degree spool piece, the last fit made. Add 45 degree elbow looking down at 45 degrees. Adjust position such that the elbow has proper roll, high low, and desired gap. Use fingers and eyes to ensure proper lineup. Ground and tack. To lock the pipe in the desired position, a cinch chain is used. Add other fittings, flanges, and pipes as to accomplish desired configuration. The pipe configuration is ready for welding. Welding can be performed throughout using positioners, roller stands, or on a table as desired. Demonstration of 8-inch Fitrite Precision Pipe Fitting Systems. Welding preparation. Hang a flange on the inside of the cradle. Ensure proper alignment. Position 8-inch long radius elbow. Ensure high-low, side-to-side, up and down, and gap. Ground and tack. Flanged long radius elbow is perfectly aligned, two hold and 90 degrees from open end. Set an 8 inch T rest. Guide bolts can be used to fasten down and center on bed. Place the 8 inch straight T on the rest. Use fingers and eyes. Get gap you like. Ground and tack. You have a properly aligned 90 degree. With the same device, you can use a slip-on hang flange. Ensure proper lineup and spacing. Check for level in all directions. Forty-five degree elbow. Ensure proper gap and orientation. Confirm with fingers and eyes. Ground and tack. 